Howdy folks. So I've got this microwave that I've got at EOL, but it still works for the time being. And I've also got a whole bunch of electronic shit that I've got to uh, fry, so I thought why, why not put it in the microwave. So this is an LCD panel out of an old laptop. This is the uh, X200 that I tore down uh, about a month ago. Uh, this is a Samsung panel. And uh, I've taken out the uh, cold cathode fluorescent lamp, so we don't have a uh, um, hazmat situation on our hands. Uh, so I'll put this in, and uh, I spent the last weekend doing file recovery on this uh, Samsung 850 EVO SSD, um, which has a full 128 meg block that's completely died in it. So uh, I thought uh, we'll do some thorough data destruction with this as well. Just chuck that in there and see what happens. So let's go. Okay, so we'll cook this for uh, two minutes. Of course, we're going to have a safety cutoff out off screen. Let's go. So the corner's on fire. Okay, so let's assess the damage. Whew. She's a little bit smoky. Just a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. So we've got a little bit of melting on that corner there. It's got a nice little spot right there. And of course, it's gonna be the electronics that have uh, failed, of course. I'll do an uh, I'll do a better autopsy, but uh, let's put those in the in the front so we can actually see them. And give this one last go. Uh, plastic um, insulator that's burning. That's that's the problem. It's sparking pretty well too. Yeah. Ooh, it's melting onto the the uh, carousel. Which is glass. Okay. I don't like how much this is burning. Okay. Samsung 850 Evo. Two minutes. So after I unstuck the SSD, this is sort of what I'm left with. And it's getting dark, unfortunately. 
but uh, pretty much just the connector uh, burned. In fact, there almost a, there appears to be a no damage, of course, on this side. Of course, those flash chips are completely fucked, but you know. Well, I'm gonna see if I've got anything else before I uh, call it quits with this microwave. Okay, so this is the Intel uh, T7400 CPU. So uh, I thought because of all the pins, we could get some nice arcs. So I'll put it upside down on the tray like so. Two minutes, bake. That's getting boring. Okay, last but not least is the uh, motherboard from the X200. I don't see myself using that ever again. So, uh, actually, you know what? Let's throw in the, uh, the GPU too, considering that's the whole reason this thing doesn't work anymore. And this is a whole mishmash of things, so this could go, this could go uh, one of a hundred different ways. And bake. Hopefully you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let's take a look at the Carnage briefly. I'm still using tongs because it's uh, still a little bit hot. So the video card, um, lots and lots of char marks. This was the bottom side. The uh, thermal paste kind of uh, liquefied on this side. 
Not so much on this side. Not too much damage. Now the CPU, the corners, as you can see, completely blown out. That was what was arcing. Um, other than that, no significant visual damage. Motherboard, you can see this inductor here is blown completely off the board and the caps are bulging a little bit. The uh, electrolyte most certainly uh, liquid, uh, vaporized sorry, inside there. Most of the damage is around the plastics, so all the connectors on the edge melted. Um, it's the phono and mic jacks have melted, the volume control is liquefied. Uh, the Kapton is still looking perfectly intact, so uh, no surprise there. The, uh, the insulating sheet they've got on here started to bubble a little bit. The other side is most likely just the same. Yeah, exactly the same. Just the connectors, pretty much. Nothing more than that. The SSD, again, connectors. Uh, the connector end is completely gone, um, but no no real damage to the uh, the other side. And the LCD, of course, pretty much just the corners where the uh, metal bezel is. And you can see that one spot, that's really the only damage. That's most likely uh, just heat damage from the burn on the other side. You can see there's a, there's a crack there from uh, probably heat again, so yeah. That's uh, that's what happens when you microwave electronics. So I will. Uh, also, the only thing I'm going to salvage from that microwave is the MOT. I'm going to rewind it with some heavy gauge wire and try and build a 600 amp supply, and then we can melt steel with it and other do other sorts of things.